You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to check the Elf on the Shelf snow globe with candy inside. It also lights up and the snow moves around on the inside, I think, by a little fan. It looked pretty cool when I saw it. And I've done some Elf on the Shelf stuff. As I was doing this, I was thinking to myself, you ever seen those videos where parents uh, like will take the elf on the shelf and then they'll chop up their kids' clothes or cover their face in Sharpie? What do you all think about that? I know some kids really freak out, so I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right, so did your parents do that to you? That's what I want to know. Is that a holiday tradition? All right, the elf on the shelf Christmas tradition snow globe candy inside. Try me. I light up and play music. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. What kind of candy's on the inside? Candy inside. What kind? Well, there's the ingredients. I'm guessing it's a hard candy. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Elfontheshelf.com. Candy Riffic is the manufacturer. All right. I'm not going to actually press the button until I get it out of the box, and then we'll see what it's like. Let me grab one of my little doohickeys here. I got a doohickey. Okay. Okay, so it's twist tied on the back. Maybe I can just cut the twist tie. Make it easier on myself. There you go. And then, okay, so it's not connected on the bottom. Let's cut the other side of the twist tie. Okay, so there's nothing inside the packaging, although it's got a nice little snow scene in the back with a bluish grayish sky and then trees covered in snow and then the base looks like snow and then the elf pictured around the outside. The globe itself is really cool. That's why I got it for my candy dispenser collection. It's got a red base with sparkles in the plastic. Okay, that's not easy. There we go. All right, so this looks like where the candy is. Now I will just press the button so you can get an initial. Hey, that's cool. Okay, so it goes only as long as you press it. Okay, so that's where the battery compartment is on the back. And then how do you get the candy out? Hmm. You'd think it would just pull out easily. Oh, there we go. So it's a little drawer. And, okay, so it's in the bottom of the box. Hmm. That I was not expecting. I was expecting it to be in a little plastic bag inside. All right, so. A little more work than I was anticipating. And I hear candy just kind of rolling around like it's not even in the package. Let's see. Let's look down here, camera. No, I guess it is. It's called Cool Candy. It almost looks like a Nerds type candy, the packaging. But it's little round balls. Hmm. Is that Cool Candy? Yeah, it's little round balls. They are, here, let me get a little tray here. Pink, white, yellow, and orange. They look like little sweet tarts. Now, I don't know. I'm not too keen on this dispenser. How are you going to get your candies out of there? They don't drop. Like when you open it, you think they drop out of the bottom of the little container. That's not the case. So you're going to have to reach in with your fingers and grab a candy. It's more like a candy storage container. It's less than a candy dispenser, if you ask me. A dispenser is one to me that, you know, has a cool little, like, little slide or a door you open and it pops out. I wonder if that song is going to get copyright flagged. We shall see. I've had some old videos with stuff like this that were copyright flagged, and I had to replace the music 
even though I was allowed to use the music that was in there, trying to find the copyright holder, which is a company that I worked with a long time ago. It was just easier to take out the music or take out the song. So I have items like that that are kind of useless videos now, thanks to copyright. Let me turn off some lights. Let's just see the flashing in the dark. Okay, so if uh, you can't uh, look at flashing lights, this would be the time to stop watching. Here we go. Hopefully it stays in focus. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's do it again. It's slightly overbearing, I think. I don't know. What do you think? Let me turn it this way so there's less flashing in your eyes, everybody. Well, I will say it's got a pretty active little fan in there because it's blowing little styrofoam balls all over the place. There's quite a bit in there. So the elf that's in there has got a candy cane in his hands and he's sitting next to two presents and he's got a really pointy cone-shaped hat. All right, let's get back to the lights. All right, that worked out pretty good and stayed in focus. I'm still not too sure about this little drawer here. What do you think about it, the way this works? First off, it's hard to open. Uh, second, you've got to reach in there to get your candies or dump the whole thing out in your hand. I guess you could do that. So is that technically a candy dispenser or a candy holder? Now, the candies themselves... They're like a hard little sugary sweet tart candy, like I said. Really shiny, though. And then the front drawer does say, Elf on the Shelf. I'd say it's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it in my little collection of candy dispensers. Overall, I'm happy I added it to my collection. What do you think about it? Have you seen it on the shelf? Let me know. I'll send you off with one more. Thanks for watching everybody later oh yeah don't forget let me know what you think about the elf on the shelf trend that i was talking about the uh what parents do with the elf on the shelf did that happen to you let me know later if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video click here watch more videos by clicking here don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up hey lps dave What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.